there and welcome to another session of Art at Home. Today we are traveling back in time to the turn of the 20th century in Vienna with the birth of Art Nouveau and a beautiful work of art in the style of Gustav Klimt. This is a painting based on Klimt's Tree of Life, one of his famous works, and in this you see the swirls, the trademark organic swirly shapes that tell us this is definitely an Art Nouveau masterpiece. In addition to the swirling organic shapes that identify this as an example of the Art Nouveau style, Klimt used a lot of symbols in his work, like the all-seeing eye, among other symbols. So start thinking about what, uh, what symbols might work in your own tree of life, okay? Get that going in your brain. In your Art at Home kit, you're going to get a uh, canvas that's already been prepped with uh, black paint, a container each of white, black, and gold, and a little tiny brush. In addition to these items, you may want to have a little bit of water on hand and some paper towels. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm a big believer in practice. So before you jump in on your masterpiece, let's do a little bit of practicing on some scrap paper. I'm using my Art at Home bag here, so. Okay, I'm pretty happy with my swirly technique. Let's go make a masterpiece. Okay, so you need to decide whether to do your tree of life in a portrait orientation or landscape. All right, so let's get going. The hardest mark to make in any work of art is that first mark. So just, just jump in and do it. Don't agonize over it. There's the trunk. See, I'm moving the brush, turning it over so we get both surfaces. Try to fill as much of the space as possible with your swirling Art Nouveau tree branches. First layer down. Okay, we've let the tree dry, and you may want to do a, a second layer of gold on it. If, it's, if you want it to be extra, extra shiny, and you don't like seeing any of the, the black through it, you could certainly do a second layer of gold, but you don't have to. So what I'm going to do next, looking at the example, is add some shapes on top of the tree. Rectangles, mostly because that's the way the brush is built. And then how about an all-seeing eye? There we go. Then we're gonna let that dry and put in some black over it. Here's another eye, so our tree has two eyes. You know, if you want, you could do the ground too. I didn't really show that, but what you could do is go in with the gold and make a ground, a horizon, if you wanted to add that to your picture. Think about repetition, and also think about providing shapes on which you can do black shapes later. All right, now whenever, especially if we're working on a black surface, a little black goes a long way. So look carefully at your, um, your finished, your almost finished tree of life and decide where you wanna put black. Not every white shape should have black on it, but if you decide you want, like uh, you know the eyeball, wait for the white to dry completely and then go in and see I'm just using like the little tiny tip here to do some shapes. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Keep that pattern going. Light touch. Uh, what else can we do? We can turn these into eyeballs I suppose. Really there's no right or wrong way to do it. Just look at it and see what see what your eye is telling you to do. And then for a final optional step, we did not include any other colors in this kit. But if you have some color around the house, if you've got some paint in different colors, just the tiniest little bit, little tiny bit, to suggest perhaps flowers, blossoms coming out of the tree or out of the ground. Maybe you wanna do a couple of dots of color to 
suggest uh, maybe there's glow worms, there's fireflies in the sky, or maybe a little flicker of moonlight. I don't know. But that repetition and very, very light touch um, if you want to add color. However, the, the monochromatic of just the gold, white, and black really looks cool. The Tree of Life is rich with symbolism, community, family, interconnectedness. So display this any place you want to be reminded of those important things and their artistic expression in your own very unique uh, interpretation of this Art Nouveau masterpiece. Well, I hope you learned a little something about the Art Nouveau and enjoyed experimenting with these materials. Please let us know what you make. Take a picture of it, send it to us at uh, the email um, address on your screen, or you can share it on social media and hashtag us with hashtag FCC Art at Home. Let us know what you're up to, okay? So we'll see you next time on behalf of the Fullerton Community Center and Leslie behind the camera. I'm Amy All. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Be creative. Bye-bye.